Hey everybody, Arden here, and I have somebody really special that I have asked to come on here and give you some of her gold and some of her mojo, and that is Coach Judy. And Coach Judy is our expert transformational mindset coach who works with the singers in our intensive training program. And it's Judy's job to help our singers understand all the ways that they're getting in their own way that maybe they don't see. And I asked Judy if she would come on today to talk about a topic that we have noticed over the years that, you know, I've been doing this work and that she's been coaching our singers on their mindset. Something that we've noticed is one of the big mindset saboteurs of professional singers, of singers who are in the game, who are out there auditioning, hustling, recording, doing the thing, and maybe just not seeing all the results of that in the form of the elite singing opportunities in the elite career that they really want. So the first thing that we've noticed is perfectionism. And so I want to introduce Coach Judy. Hello, Coach Judy. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you today. And, and we get to, to talk, talk about perfectionism. One of the topics that we hear all the time. I mean, if you if you could count the many the amount of times you're coaching on perfectionism, how often do you see this with our singers? 100% of the time. It's okay. uh, <laughs> everyone struggles with it. It's hard to not struggle with it because we do want to be perfect, right? We want to be able to be flawless in the performance, flawless in everything that we do so that no one's judging us. And um, so that strive for perfection is huge. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we talk about all the time is that perfectionism is really just a way that our ego mind is trying to prevent us from failing. And so when Coach Judy is coaching on perfectionism, what she's really doing is coaching on a compensatory mechanism for fear of failure. And so I would like to ask you, Judy, what are the, first of all, what are the ways in which you see perfectionism creeping in when you coach and talk to our singers from a mindset coach perspective? You know, what comes to mind immediately is um, the worth, feeling unworthy. And so because they feel unworthy, they have to feel like they have to be perfect in order to be accepted and to be liked and to be making everybody happy in the performance and really engaging the audience. If it's not perfect, it's just never good enough. And mm -hmm. so they're setting themselves up to fail because they never feel like no matter what they do, they hit that perfection. Right, because you guys, the thing about perfection is that it doesn't exist. Yeah. There's no such thing as perfection. It's not, it's not an outcome that you will ever reach. And so we keep moving the bar and it's gotta be more perfect and more perfect and we, we're never gonna get there. So we're setting ourselves up for failure, for the very failure that we're terrified of in the first place. So when you're coaching singers on perfectionism, do you have a favorite, we'll call it a hack, a favorite tool, a favorite hack that really helps reframe our singers out of that perfectionism when they feel it sabotaging them? Yes. You know, actually the first one is so very simple. This little hack is to just ask yourself, what is perfect anyway? You know, a lot of people will define that as flawless, yet what is flawless? It's really up to each human to decide what is flawless, what is perfect. I mean, imagine you go to a movie and you all watch the same movie and all your friends are there. There's 10 of you, three love it, three hate it. Somebody is in between. There is no perfect movie. There is no perfect anything. The idea of perfection is a myth. And so sometimes just even having that little shift in their mindset that wait a minute, that, that's true. There really is no such thing as perfect. We'll help relieve a little bit of the tension. Mm -hmm. So number one, ask yourself, well, what is perfect anyway? Is, is my definition of perfect the same as Coach Judy's definition of perfect? Is your definition of perfect? And you start to realize, wait a second, what I think is perfect is different than everybody else sitting out there in that audience or everybody watching you do that audition. And there is no way that you can satisfy all of them. So number one, understanding, well, what is perfect anyway? Is there such a thing? And nine times out of 10, when you start asking that kind of question, so what Coach Judy is teaching you how to do here is to ask what we call doubt-inducing questions. 
you think and your ego mind wants to convince you that there is such a thing as perfect. And if you don't meet it, you're going to fail. But all of a sudden, now we start creating doubt. Well, is there such a thing? And then usually your awareness pops in and says, well, no, there isn't. There's what I think, but that's a different perception than what somebody else thinks. Okay, so that's great. Ask that doubt-inducing question. Then, then yeah. okay, my second favorite one is you, you aim toward what you're doing. And so AIM is an acronym that stands for acceptable, ideal, and middle. And so the funny thing that I just love talking to people about is that, you know, we never think that acceptable is good enough, yet acceptable is acceptable. It is good enough. And it doesn't always have to be ideal. And I like the ideal in, the, in exchange for perfection because we can always work toward being our ideal self. What we're imagining is perfect is kind of our ideal. But that isn't necessarily meaning it's flawless or it's without fault, like perfection does. And it gives us an opportunity to feel success because we can work toward our ideal. We can create our ideal image. We can become ideally who we need to be to be free in our, our bodies and be able to let that voice just come out the way that we want it to and to be authentically ourselves instead of forcing and trying to be something that we're not. And so I just love the idea of aiming. And I see all the time with the singers that I work with when we start breaking it down to in some things that you're doing, certain practices that you have, when would it be okay to be acceptable? You don't have to be ideal all the time. At what points would it be okay to be someone in the middle? And where do you really want to be sure that you're in that ideal if you can be? And what does it take to get there? Because if we break down those three ways of being, it gives us the freedom to be a human, which is what we all are instead of perfect beings. Mm -hmm. It's you guys, that perfectionism, it sneaks in there. It's so insidious. Mm -hmm. And as you understand, if we're striving for something that is impossible to attain anyway, we will always feel like a failure. We will always feel like we need to control more, push more, force more. Not to mention the fact that that effect has on your body and your technique because you're making, pushing, pushing forcing, manipulating, and that sabotages everything in the sound that would get you to the ideal that we're talking about, but also it makes it the process miserable and you lose your, your joy for it. And you don't want to do the things that could actually help you or get you to the next level. So I'm wondering, Judy, if, if there's a singer who comes to mind in your coaching experience, either recently or in the past when you've you know, worked with our singers for a while, where perfectionism was a thing and you might share how, you know, reframing that, the, the aha moments or what that coaching scenario was like, you might share. And, and you don't need to use their real name necessarily. Sure. You know, uh, one of the things that happened, and I'll just call her Crystal, um, with Crystal, is that, you know, she was really struggling with the perfectionism. And I introduced just one simple little combination of words, which is, you know what, you're already perfect, you're perfectly imperfect, because there is no perfect person. And I asked her, what would it feel like if you gave yourself permission to be perfectly imperfect? And asking that question, she began to really think about what would that feel like? Well, that would be freeing. It would allow me to just be me. It would stop me from forcing. She went through all the things and she just, the more she talked, she just, and then I would have joy and then I would feel confident. And it just went on and on and on. And what was really cool in that moment is like, as she shifted from the idea of that perfection to just embracing the perfectly imperfect, she was able to step into that, which allowed her to not have to be ideal all the time, but to be good enough sometimes and really play with things and learn and grow. And what was interesting to watch is she went from forcing and stuck to just soaring and celebrating how free she felt, how things were coming naturally to her and how the ease and flow of it all just made singing go to a whole different level. That was the coolest thing. And I, I know who you're talking about. Uh -huh. And I remember her coming into studio class at, after she'd had that aha moment in her mindset coaching with you, coming into studio class and being and, and what it was like for her to sing with the idea of, I don't have to be perfect. I get to be perfectly imperfect. If I'm a perfectionist, and I remember I said this to her, I was like, look, if you're going to be a perfectionist anyway, Let's talk. Why don't you give yourself permission to be perfect at being 
imperfect. Uh -huh. And when she got up in studio class with that idea that she just gets to be perfectly imperfect, all of the making and the forcing and the pushing and all of the trying mm -hmm. and the overdoing that was sabotaging her sound, all of a sudden is, is gone. Yeah. And what her body was able to do was bring forth the most present resonant sound and the most impactful performance. Mm -hmm. And so in, in your coaching with the singers and bringing in these mindset ideas, when we then come into class with them, now it's like synthesis. And then they come back to you in mindset call and they celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm inviting those of you who are watching today to out yourself in the chat. Are you a perfectionist? Come on, tell us in the chat. Go ahead, put it in there. Yep, I see you. I appreciate you. You are looking at number one recovering perfectionist right here. Like I completely relate to this. And so all of the coaching that we do around this, you better believe that I'm eating my own cooking here because I know what it's like. Judy knows what it's like. So are you a perfectionist? Start to notice how that shows up, where that shows up, and give yourself these three tools that we just went through today. Number one, ask yourself, well, what is perfect anyway? And start, is there such a thing? Ask some doubt-inducing questions. Number two, aim. Acceptable, ideal, what was the last? Middle. 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 The thing in between. <laughs> and can that be enough? Are you enough? Because you guys, most of you, when you align with acceptable, ideal, mm -hmm. middle, that's all you ever have to do. And that is your ideal. And you're so focused on the fact that it's never enough, never enough, never enough, that you overdo, 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 when all you got to do is be right here. And that's plenty. Mm -hmm. So acceptable, ideal, middle. And then can you invite yourself to be perfectly imperfect? And please explore this as you go through your singing this week and come back here and tell us in the comments what you notice, what awareness you have, how it feels to sing with these things and what you're able to create with it. So thank you to Judy, our expert transformational mindset coach. Very grateful to you for coming in and sharing your mojo and your wisdom with our larger tribe here. Uh, is there anything you'd like to leave us with? You know, it's been my pleasure to be here today, and it's just so fun to get to work with people and watch them soar, really go from being stuck, feeling like they have to be perfect, to free, and really get to enjoy who they fully are. And so I just to kind of punctuate it here at the end, I just want to remind you that you get to choose your thoughts. You get to choose your goals. You get to choose your targets. And so choose to make them doable. Choose to make them that ideal is good enough. Good enough is good enough. That's why it's called good enough. So sometimes good enough is good enough. I know we've all been to performances where that were not flawless. And yet sometimes they were the best ones we ever saw because we saw the real human on the stage. And so I just want to invite you to choose the thoughts and the feelings, the things that are going to really allow you to let go of that perfectionism and watch yourself really enjoy who you are and be it fully on the stage. Thank you so much, Judy. All right, you guys. So listen up, because if you are a pro singer who wants and knows you need to get in there on your mindset and you know that you are going to auditions and you are hustling and you are performing and you are recording, but you're just not breaking through to those elite level opportunities and you need more support to get your next high level singing opportunity and be able to do that sustainably over the long term. You need more support to break through. I'm hosting an event that you do not want to miss. So it's a free seven day online live masterclass series called the Pro Singer Career Accelerator Workshop. And it is designed specifically to help you take these high level concepts that Judy and I were talking about and teach you how to implement them strategically, what to do to shift mindset. So all these actionable tools that we were just talking about today are fantastic, but in a larger context of transformation, both in your technique, in your mindset, in your artistry, so that you stand out above the competition, so that you understand what it takes to be able to not just have a great gig here and it's a good paid gig and you know you're you're heading in that elite level, but 
now what? That gig's over and how do I do that sustainably? How do I land those opportunities over and over again where I'm operating at that elite level and nothing is holding me back because I know how to bring it at that level every single time. If you're that kind of pro singer, this career accelerator workshop is going to be game changing for you. It's August 12th through 18th, seven days, 90 minutes a day. I'm doing this for free for all the reasons that I do all of our free trainings, because for you, for this caliber of singer that you are, you have training, you are out there, you are doing the thing, but you're not happy because you know that there's a Tony with your name on it. You know that there are a million streams with your name on it. And that's not what's happening right now. You know that there's high level artist management. You know that there's equity status. You know all of these things. And yet it's not where you are yet, even though that's how talented you are. And it's been shown to you over and over again because you're getting high level things. You're just not getting them often enough that pay you well enough and that are sustainable enough. So. Pro Singer Career Accelerator Workshop is specifically designed to help you break through. This is for singers who understand that despite all the training that you already have, there's another level for you. And you know that if you just know how to tap into that consistently, get out of your own way and bring that, then you will get there. This is for you if you're doing all these things, putting yourself out there, going to auditions, hustling, recording, performing, and... Despite all that, you're still not seeing the results that you want. So I'm going to put the link in the comments. Register. It's free, you guys. Like, don't be one of those people who's like complaining about, oh, you know, nobody's out there trying to help artists. I'm doing this for you. It is game changing, but you have to show up to it. So get in that mindset of grabbing the gift when it is given to you and be there on Monday, starting the 12th. If you register, you get tons of support. We're doing support for your technique. We're doing support for your mindset. We're doing support for your artistry, your skill set, all the things that it's going to take to up-level you to land your next elite singing gig. Do not miss it. Register now, and I will see you in there. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, if you want to attend our next free seven day online pro singer career accelerator masterclass series, which you absolutely should do, then click that square button in the left hand corner down there to register and I will see you inside.